really, really they appreciated that. Oh, that? yeah, they I'm were talking sure about it all are. morning long. Well, the, Target did a good thing. <laughs> That's did. wonderful. Yeah. A young football player in Malvern is so good, his league is tackling him with a little known rule inspired by a Razorback football great. It's called the Madre Hill Rule. And Fox 16's Josh Rosenthal shows us the rule hasn't been used in Malvern since Hill played there. Malvern hasn't seen a football player like this for a long time. He's going to score almost every time he touches the ball. At the young age of 11 years old, Demias Jimerson reminds a lot of people of Razorback great Madre Hill. If you were looking at them, you would say they were very much similar. I mean, they, they both run really fast, good kids run with the same style. Like Jimerson, Hill attended Wilson Intermediate School and dominated the football field so thoroughly, the league invoked what came to be known as the Madre Hill Rule. Once Hill scored three touchdowns, if his team had a 14-point lead, officials banned him from scoring any more touchdowns. Now, for the first time since, the Wilson Intermediate Football League is using the Madre Hill Rule again to tackle Demias Jimerson. I got, kind of got shocked because I didn't know that was going to happen, but it did. And now? I'm okay with it. Principal Terry Bryant says the rule isn't meant to punish Jimerson. It's there to help the other fifth and sixth graders on the field develop as football players, too. The other players on both teams, 21 are just left sort of, this is all demise. So that's why the Madre Hill rule has been implemented. But the Madre Hill rule is only for fifth and sixth grades. Next year, Jimerson goes to seventh. I run hard and bring our team to victory. But God always comes first for anything and grade second. God grades, then touchdowns. Madre Hill rule or not. Jimerson actually played a couple of games this season before the Wilson League invoked the Madre Hill rule. In one of those games, he scored seven touchdowns. Jimerson's team, not surprisingly, is undefeated. Uh, but well, of course. I, it sounds like he has his priorities in place. His yes, parents does. obviously instilling some values in him. But it, it, does anyone feel like this could stifle him from excelling, you know, in the future? I don't think so. I was out there earlier today and no one seemed to have a problem with this. I had heard some rumblings that maybe one or two coaches had a little bit of an issue with it, but nobody I talked to did. And I was at the high school, the intermediate school, talked to a lot of coaches. So as far as I know, Everyone's okay with it. Has Bobby Petrino contacted him? <laughs> I think this might be a little early, even for Bobby okay. Petrino. Okay, just check it, because I want to make sure he stays in state, all right? <laughs> thanks. All right, thanks a lot. Well, if you have